I didn't want it to come to this. Okay, I honestly wanted to work a legitimate job, but no, now I have to resort to a life of crime again where myself and bargain bin hitman and Tony Stork here have to rob a bank. What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red and for today's episode I got a job because believe it or not turning people into meaty little cubes it just doesn't pay the bills so now I'm gonna start work at a tablet factory which probably doesn't pay the bills either now that I think about it right I'm pretty sure I get like a dollar a day to stand here for 15 hours and slap tablets in sync with all of these other Chinese children. Now, I know to the untrained eye, it may appear that they're just failing to chop up cafeteria trays, but trust me, this is where all tablets come from. Every tablet in the world started right here on Ping Pong's workstation. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Ping Pong. You keep it up. You too, Szechuan. Steve. As you may have already guessed, they are brothers. Steve's a bit of a black sheep of the family, but we don't really talk about that. Have you guys been getting paid? I've been meaning to ask, because I've been working here for at least a couple of weeks now, and I haven't been paid anything. They clearly owe me like a roll of quarters by now, so maybe I should bring it up to management? Um... I'm gonna hope you aren't management. And instead, you were just hired on to get things off the hard-to-reach shelf for management. I'm thinking that the best course of action is probably to stop yelling smart-ass remarks into your shoulder. And instead, we're just gonna slip on by, avoiding eye contact. <laughs> that way, we can go have a word with management. You don't even have any money! Who runs a sweatshop without any money? I mean, you don't need a lot of it, but you can't be putting all your cash in your mouth, Do You can't go and spend all your yen on gold teeth and scissor races. How do people lose eyes these days? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm starting an uprising. That's it. Get ready, Gronk. We're coming for you, too. Shut up and give me your dinner tray, Steve. Okay, we're forming a union. A union between metal and chest. <laughs> there we go. This is how you overthrow your oppressors. Guys, really? Come on now. Why is it the first thing you do? Okay, listen. I know I called Steve the Black Sheep, and that was a little rude of me, but somebody had to inform the audience why he's called Steve. I told management the first day that I showed up that we need to do more team building exercises. Otherwise, there's gonna be a whole lot of disdain happening and people are gonna get their faces chopped off. Okay, I didn't say that last part, but I kind of figured it might happen. <laughs> but no, of course they wouldn't listen to me. Speaking of management, is Gronk just hanging out over there? Okay, well, that's good, I suppose. <laughs> I would have liked it for you guys to go over there and deal with him, but I, I guess I can get to it eventually. Catch! Ooh, good catch. I think for legal reasons, I can't tell you guys which company is responsible for all this, but I can tell you that there's probably going to be a shortage of eye cafeteria trays come this holiday season. <laughs> there's only one person left to make them all, and he isn't in any kind of shape to do that. Okay, then. So, is it my company now? Is that how this works? Do I inherit the sweatshop? You keep what you kill? I'm pretty sure that's Chronicles of Riddick, but you know. <laughs> it's all the same, let's be honest. I really thought the higher-ups would have been upset with an uprising and massacre happening at the company, but it turns out they just saw it as taking initiative. So now I got a promotion. I get to work at headquarters very high security headquarters. I'm guessing you guys probably don't want any uprisings happening here. <laughs> Did you see my resume before I showed up? That's fair. Yeah, you know what? I, I can understand that a whole lot more than I can understand this chair. Oh, and I even brought my own little Gronk personal assistant. You ready to go to work, big guy? You guys can cross your arms all you want, but I haven't been issued any kind of clearance security card or anything like that, so I'm just going to assume that I can walk into this empty closet 
What are, are you guys like on some kind of dummy assignment? What's up with that? <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I'm going through here. Um. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. First thing we should do as a company, rethink how we do chairs. Because that is not how anybody should do chairs unless you're trying to do it to make a little chair baby. Does your wife know about that, sir? <laughs> that l looks terrible. <laughs> Fred, who are you trying to fool? Okay, everybody knows it's a wig. You're balding. It's fine. Nobody cares. People are a lot more concerned that you're clipping through a chair. I probably shouldn't disturb them. Right, they seem really busy with R&D on non-popping popcorn. It's when you put popcorn in a microwave and then don't turn it on. I'm not really sure what kind of market it's gonna play into, but eventually it's gonna take over the world. Just you wait. Oh, hey, Fluffles. Um, Fluffles, hey, 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 Fluffles, what, what are you doing? Uh, Fluffles, why is it always you that pisses everybody off? Oh, what the Christ? <laughs> the CEO's a zombie, I should have known. I feel like at one point or another, this was a room full of weapons. <laughs> and they went and got rid of them all, so now I'm just stuck borrowing these. I'm not actually borrowing them. I I'm probably not gonna give them back, let's be perfectly honest. <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna use them for? <laughs> Holy crap, my katana friend is awesome. He's leaving arms and walls and taking the tops of heads off. I'm just gonna follow you. You can do all the, yeah, you do all the work. No, no, get out of here there, wig boy. Fluffles, we've been over this, okay? You can't be starting fights in major corporations. I'm trying to keep a job here. Come on, Fluffles, enough screwing around. All right, get up. No temper tantrums in here. It might not be too late for us to apologize to the giant zombie CEO. Did he kill everybody? I think he killed everybody. I did almost nothing. Oh no. Again, is it keep what you kill? Did I just inherit all of this? First things first, we're gonna have to do something about non-popping popcorn. I might just rename it corn. How does that sound to you? <laughs> just the stupidest ideas, but you know what? We're gonna make it work. I kept telling the higher higher ups that that fight wasn't my fault. Okay, I didn't start it, Fluffle started it. I don't need anger management, but apparently they disagreed and you know what, my tone of voice may have not helped it. <laughs> so now I'm here every Friday for the next six weeks hanging out with a bunch of angry lunatics. What are we doing here? Oh, we're taking out our anger in a healthy way by Baseball batting a cardboard box. Cool. Um, does somebody run this? Usually there's like an instructor or like an anger management team. How about you, Billy Mays? Are you running this? No? Can I go through? Oh, no, can't go through here. That made them angry. Is this like the cult of Billy Mays? What's going on here? There's so many of them and they all look identical. Yeah, you go fight all the angry boys. I'm just gonna keep looking around. Oh, you're probably the one that I need to talk to. Can you use your little ninja star to sign off on a sheet that'll let me go back to work? I'd really appreciate it. No. What if I hit you in the head with a bottle? No. Okay, that might have been angry of me. I'll come back later. I think this level was called the Cult of Anger Management, but again, all I'm seeing are Billy Mays, right? We had Afro Billy Mays who I managed to take out. We had Jello Billy Mays who I only kicked once and he evaporated. <laughs> you know, a whole bunch of others, you know, half face Billy Mays, stuck in the door Billy Mays. I don't know, okay? I, I, I'm just gonna try to get out of here. I just need somebody to sign off on this sheet. Uh, okay. No, 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 come on. Just like, oh, you, can you help me? Are you running this? What is up with this place? There's so much back here. <laughs> How do I leave? Oh my God, there's so many of them. What? This is like a giant angry maze. Speaking of giant and angry, why are you hurting Fluffles? Get the hell away from him. What is wrong with you? Get out of here, gargantuan Billy Mays. Yeah, that's right. Oxy clean your blood up off the floor. 
I do not have time to fight like 500 Billy Mazes. So maybe I can just learn or die? Yeah, um, okay, I'll take a seat and learn or die. How about that? What are we learning about? Buttons. Oh, 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 that would be the die option. Okay, I think a bunch of seats just opened up. Hey everybody, Captain Sauce here for shotguns. Shotguns, they're, they're, they're a whole bunch of fun in crowds. Shotguns, they'll whisk you right off your feet. Shotguns, your face will hit the ground. I can't do this. I can't beat this level. There's, there's so many of them, there's so many of them. I didn't want it to come to this. Okay, I honestly wanted to work a legitimate job, but no, now I have to resort to a life of crime again where myself and Bargain Bin Hitman and Tony Stork here have to rob a bank. You gave me a 200 year old pistol and I see that you're very good at hiding that butter knife in your chest. <laughs> but I don't suppose you have like an Iron Man suit hanging around or something like that, do you? Because that would come in very handy. Right, we don't have any money yet because we haven't stolen anything. Oh, hey, how's it going? I don't know this guy. Do either of you guys know this guy? I feel like he's an informant. I would shoot him in the head, but I get the feeling that would piss people off. So instead, I'm just gonna go through this door and figure out what I'm supposed to steal from the Ren Fair. You guys look kind of piratey. I don't suppose you've seen any valuables around here worth stealing? No? Okay, then I guess I'll just go back to minding my own business and seeing what's behind door number one. We have a bedroom. Bedroom with money in it? No, just a bedroom. Huh. Uh, hey guys? Door number two has a SWAT team behind it. <laughs> I think the guy with the green tie might actually be an informant. Let's just keep an eye on that for a while. Uh, maybe I should steal something on the down low. That's probably a good idea, right? Employees only. All right then. Huh. I can't quite put my finger on why, but I get the feeling this job is gonna go tits up. Maybe we should just bail. Is that a possibility? Like, could I just leave? <laughs> just walk away from all this? I don't need the crime life. Maybe you are willing to help me get out of all this? Oh. Yeah, that's a whole lot of money. Okay. Um. I can walk away with this for some reason, but I kind of want my gun back, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Guys, we need to have a little team meeting without green tie for just a moment. There's so much goddamn SWAT out there, you have no idea. <laughs> the money was right underneath our noses the whole time, <laughs> but he's a rat. <laughs> yeah, you better run to your cop friends. You'll never take me alive, coppers. You just try, I'll shoot around my friends and hopefully not through them, it's a little difficult. This pistol has infinite ammo, which is a whole lot of help because there's way more SWAT than I would have expected. Okay, you know what? I don't have any friends. Yeah, you know, I I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of the shares for myself. It's like I've been saying this entire episode. You keep what you kill. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep everything. <laughs> Please stop getting up. We good? Oh, no, we got a whole bunch of little fights happening out here. Interesting. Hey, 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 calm down. Man, oh man, that SWAT party cleared out real quick. They were definitely onto us from the get-go. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if that wad of cash was tracked. I think you guys are the only ones left. Hey man, I don't have any quarrel against you. Okay, I was just here to stop the cops from taking my money. Don't stay back. Okay, you're still alive, right? I think I just had his head bounce off you so we can all still walk away from this together. Except for him, maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know what? Why don't we just do a little something like this? There we go. <laughs> you gotta do it at least once each episode. Boop. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so I am now covered in stains, but I should be able to slowly walk over here and get my money. Man, the things you do to get rent. 
But you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, you guys. You know what? With so many new games coming out lately and so many new games coming to the channel, I really wanted to just sit down today and play something that we've been playing forever. Honestly, Paint the Town Raid is probably one of the longest running series on my channel, and I'm still not sick of it. So if you guys have any more levels that you want to see me play, as always, be sure to leave them in the comments. Leave a like on the video, let me know, keep the series going, and I'll return for more soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.